What's up, you guys? Sugi Girls checking in with our thoughts on Black Panther. We just finished watching the movie, and I loved it. Um, every moment of it was just beautiful. FYI, for the ones who have not seen any Marvel movies, for the ones who are not into superhero movies, for the ones who know nothing, absolutely nothing about Black Panther, be reveling in the fact of they walk you through it like they start off with the story so you will get caught up on what black panther the comic superhero is about so you will not be lost you will not be confused i've known talked to some people over the last few months and they're like well i really don't know anything about it and you know i probably won't know. they very much so simplified in the beginning so you're very much so caught up on um how the story all starts in the first place so I just wanted to throw that out there as well for the ones who aren't familiar with Black Panther. Also, if you haven't seen it yet, make sure you stay all the way to the end because it does have two credits. So, um, you know, make sure you don't walk out just when um, the first one's the over. first one's over because there is a second one all the way at the end if you're not familiar with Marvel movies. This is just going to be our thoughts of the movie overall. There will be no spoilers in the movie. So if you listen to this, it's not going to be any information that, you know, will spoil how the movie plays out. Um, I'm just going to say big ups to everybody that had a hand in this movie. Yes. From the direction, from the way it was written. Um... It was real. It covered a lot of stuff that hits our community in its own way. It answered a lot of the questions that people have said, you know, why wouldn't Wakanda help out the world? All of that's addressed. The acting, it was a visual treat. Uh, the colors from oh, the yes. very first opening scene to the end. Um, I love the way they captured a lot of the traditional garb from different real life African countries mm -hmm. and brought that and tied that into the movie. The rituals. Um, yeah, some of the rituals that were brought up and everything that was done. The acting was beautiful for me. Um, I like the fact that the characters were women who were strong, who could also follow the lead of, you a know, strong. a strong um, king. But it wasn't, you know, sometimes me personally, I have a problem with the role where the woman is just like so weak willed, if you will. Mm. But they had their own opinion. It was a good balance. Stuff, but at the same time, they knew not to overstep their bounds. Like they still followed his leadership. Mm -hmm. So I think all in all, it was beautiful. Um, Angela Bassett, you know, she's always going to come in, show up and show out. And she did in this movie, even though she didn't have a huge role as far as like speaking lines or whatever, mm -hmm. just her presence on screen. Um, this, I will say, I will compare this movie to Ant-Man okay. in the sense that Ant-Man covered some very serious topics, mm -hmm. but it was able to infuse the comedy with those serious topics yes. in a very even um like feel. an even scale yeah they kind of evened it yeah, out pretty yeah everything came they, together yeah, it was smoothly balanced. and I will say the same thing for Black Panther for me a lot of this the topics hit home but at the same time when it was funny it wasn't misplaced exactly um, some other movies both Marvel and DC I've had a problem with misplaced humor mm -hmm. um, if you're dealing with a serious topic and it, it, the humor doesn't lay in right, then to me, it is not Don't a good touch balance. on it, yeah. Just just leave it serious if you can't make it balance out correctly. And I think they did a good job with balancing that out. Um, two excellent villains. Both of the villains were excellent. Mm -hmm. We're not going to say how any of it transpires, but both of the villains were excellent. Um, let's see. I don't, off the top of my head right now, just coming straight back from the movie, I don't have a negative. Um, I definitely see the way they left it, that they have a lot of material from the comic books yes. that they can touch on for touch on other movies. For other movies, if they so choose. If they do, I'm here for it. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? And what else? Oh, I want to touch on this. I want to touch on the fact that 
they the um, flashbacks that they yes. did mm-hmm. they incorporated that so well the way they flashbacked at different times during the movie mm-hmm. that um, I believe that Ryan Cooler also wrote the movie like big ups and props like yes. for real with that I like the way they had it was infused into the movie so it didn't seem like and now here's your flashback you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. and how they how they interwove all of that back into the main story and what was currently happening that I was shook at one point when something happened and I was just like oh yes I think I might actually um said something like oh, we wow, realized wow, the relevancy yeah. of the play yes yes. So, yes yes exactly that was a good thing I'm yes. gonna say hands down and that that says a lot about a movie when even your comic book nerds are shocked at some the way they did at something that happened cause yes, yes there was a few things that other people that was close by that I could tell weren't fans or weren't familiar was shocked at it's just like okay we expected that to happen we knew he was bad you know we knew this we knew that but um yeah, there was parts where it was just like everyone was just shocked and said, I did not expect that. So, yeah, I love that. I'm gonna also say, hands down, the um, Pop Sugar did a discussion with okay. several different people from the movie the woman that did the costumes, and also the woman that did the stunt work for the Dora Milaje. Okay, who cool. that woman. Your costume work is phenomenal. Like, mm-hmm. for real, for real. Like, off the rip, everything was just gorgeous. Um, and then the stunt woman, okay? The choreographed scenes that they had, the mm-hmm. way they fought as a group yes. like that, like, it's one thing to <sighs> see it in the comic book. Let's not even talk about the fight scenes, but go ahead. It's one thing to see it in the comic books and know that they're fierce and exactly. know that they're strong and know that they are one of the top female fighters and know that they've taken on people both with and without powers that have been known for fighting and beat them. But it's another thing to actually be able to see a version of that on now screen. live and on the screen. And I'm just gonna go out and say that no offense to Chad Bowman because I love That's his what I was portrayal. About to say. Oh my no goodness. offense to Michael B. Jordan, who I was on the fence about the whole entire time, if I'm gonna be real. Um, because even though I know he's a phenomenal actor, mm. his hair kind of took me out of it just in the trailer. That was the best part. For me, like, I couldn't get over his hairstyle. Well, that was the best part. I'm saying for me. Yeah. For you, it, it got you the way you needed to be, and I'm happy. But for me, <laughs> every time I looked at his hair, I was just like, why are all the braids going in the same direction, though? Mm. Is his right? I don't know. Something about the, the hairstyle, when he was delivering his line in the trailer, I was just like, mm. came off a little bit too Don't get me wrong. We all know I was number one there for the movie or whatever. Of course. Um... But hands down, I think the Dora Milaje as a group, all of their roles, the pizza, old girl, I'm going to call her Michonne um, from Walking Dead, Movie You Will Be Moved from Civil War, they all came and they showed out. Like, okay, so you're saying Lupita and, well, yeah. Lupita's role, Nakia, and the Dora Milaje both, okay. The and Dora the too? Yeah. Okay. All of the the... Basically, more of the Dora Milaje more than anybody, I really, really felt something for them because they were strong characters and they weren't being put down for being strong. Mm. They basically were almost second to Black Panther as far as fighting mm. and very strong women. And I believe as a woman of color and just as a woman in general, it's nice to see roles where we can actually shine as women mm-hmm. and it's not taken as a negative. Yeah, and so, I'm going to need people to watch this movie so I can have other discussions with them because there's some things I want to tell you later on about the fight scenes and everything that just... I did not yeah. expect. We definitely <laughs> are going to have to do a, a spoiler fill yes. review because I'm getting so worked up that I want to start spoiling stuff in this one and we know there's a lot of people that haven't seen it. So if you are fans of our content, make sure to tune in probably next week when we'll do a spoiler filled review. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Um, Wakanda forever. And as always, you guys, stay, stay geeky. geeky.